as you see the article on your screen long story short if you're on console no you can't play it i'm sorry it's only available for pc that's why you clicked on this video so i just want to give it to you straight to the point um the article is going to be down in the description box below however in this video i'm going to go over it if you want to know more you know details of it or just see it for yourself so let's go over the article i'm going to read it to you um the only way to play the game is through a pc per undisputed twitter or x page there are still bugs to be fixed following early access regardless how long early access period is undisputed stream page didn't give an exact timeline however the goal is to make sure the game is playable for everyone before releasing it on various platforms and then it continues we will release the full version of undisputed when we feel it's ready developers stated that means achieving certain milestones and reaching a level of quality we feel is up to our standards and incorporate feedback from players. I really do hope they do that. But anyways, continuing. With that in mind, it can be tough to predict exactly how long early access will last. We plan to add additional content and features along the way. And that will take time. And the game costs about $30. Uh, on Steam for you PC players. But anyways, let's go over that real quick because I have a few questions. Um, The first one, at least to my knowledge, we haven't heard anything from career mode, at least information wise. So, and it really concerns me because they said that they're gonna at least put it out or at least give us more information around the fall, right? So clearly at the point of me filming this, it's November 15th. 2023 and I don't know what's going on and that's a little bit concerning because they're kind of falling behind in my opinion right so I'm just like what's the hold up of course I've never worked in a gaming industry or anything like that so I don't know the steps or the process of it as a whole but at least I would like to have like an update or at least you know for them to come out and say hey this is what we're doing currently and we haven't put it out yet because X, Y, and Z. You get what I'm saying? At least something like that. At least something to hold us off until the release date of career mode or other content. So that really concerns me. And this is a topic that I was seeing around the community. How to get the game. Because of course I'm on PC. But... I was thinking to myself like okay what if i wasn't on pc right like the majority of people i would like to believe still play on console right like xbox and um, playstation so i was thinking like okay um let me see let me see what's going on so i did a little bit of research and that's the article that i found out i found um this information in which is in the description box below so i was thinking i was like okay it's kind of strange because usually these things happen the other way around. Usually there's games available on console first and then later for PC like Spider-Man, Red Dead Redemption and then there's like one other one which I'm forgetting but anyways you, you get the point right? So for now for it to be the other way it's kind of strange you know. I mean I like it for you know as a PC player myself you know I don't mind I don't care but um for those who don't have a PC you know it's could be kind of frustrating you know so welcome to our world <laughs> you know so but yeah i was thinking i was like that's odd that's kind of strange because you would think a mix i suppose to mix martial arts no you would think a fighting game like this right it will come out on console first because it just makes more sense right playing on controller all that good stuff it would just makes more sense right but for it to come out on PC first, but now on console, it's kind of, you know, concerning. But I do feel your guys' pain, you know. Um, the game is a little bit, a little bit buggy at times, I, will, I wouldn't lie. And it has some issues with it. So, but anyways, I don't want to talk too much or take any more of your time. I really do appreciate you listening to me if you even reached to the point of this. I mean, if you reached this far. I just want to say thank you and then also I want to say if you like my channel and you like this video or you just like me or whatever you already know what to do man 
I'm not gonna tell you. I'm not gonna bend your ear about it. I'm not gonna, you know, uh, what's it called repeat the same thing over and over again. You know what to do. You know what button to press. All that stuff. You know, you got that, man. But anyways, that's basically about it. That's the only thing I want to talk about. I'm going to let you enjoy the rest of the gameplay. I'm currently playing as a special Mike Tyson. But even though Mike Tyson needs to be in this game, I'm surprised he's not in this game at launch. Muhammad Ali is, of course, Joe Frazier is. And where the hell is Floyd? Floyd Mayweather. I never see him in any of these games like Fight Night. I was about to say Fight Night Champion. Well, yeah, Fight Night Champion. Or Fight Night Round 2, 3. I don't see him. Like, ever. Unless if someone creates him, you know? But anyways, that's strange. That's weird. Hopefully he's in this game. That's what's Mike Tyson too. Like, come on, Mike Tyson's iconic dude. For you not to have him in the game, it's crazy. Like, really, it's crazy. But anyways, I'm gonna let you enjoy um the rest of the gameplay. I am Tyson Fury, which is on the left, and we're going up against um what's his name? Joe Frazier. I almost forget his name. But anyways, that's basically about it. Well, you know the video is gonna end. Never mind, <laughs> the video is gonna end. But anyways, take care. Be safe. I'm